everybody, I'm Beagle. And this hound dog is flying. Yeah, it sounds quite posh. I'm so excited to be on the show. As a Harrier jet pilot, I love flying around and around and around and around until I'm dizzy. And this Top Gun loves the competition. Maybe Top Gun, Top Gear. Looking back, it was the day I got my first pair of boots when things really took off. Football. Captain of a football team. Before I knew it, I was looping the loop and traveling the world, following in the footsteps of my houndhood heroes. Love trees for family tree. I went from flying in their smoke trails to going head to head against them. It's like a competitor or something. Being in this competition brings back the same nervous excitement. Time to let the dog out. Woof, 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 woof. Again, this is Plenty's 30s. Great Gatsby vibes. Unfortunately, social distance is applied. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Defeat her. I love the way people just start moving one paw like they do when you scratch that bit. <laughs> um, that performance was really entertaining. So, so much energy. I was feeling like perhaps these clues harping back to a golden age may have told us something about your age, but actually I think you're young. And I thought, that performance looks like you've trained and been in some kind of competition. Oh! Ooh. Now, the only thing that I could think of to do with flying mm. was McFly Ooh. and Harry Judd. Ah! Because I know Harry Judd can really dance. Oti. Looking at the package, I had so many ideas. And then you said Top Gun. And then I thought maybe Top Gear, Love right. Speed. Maybe this is Freddie Flintoff because he made a lot of sporting references. Yeah, you're right. Then I saw the football. And you also had a book that was with trees. And I thought Family Tree. And a famous football player who is a famous football dad is Jamie Redknapp. Yep. Love that, Oti. Oti, do you think Family Tree was a clue aimed at you, it's Motsi Mabusi come out of retirement to play for the sister. <laughs> Motsi does not know how to fly nothing. <laughs> Jonathan, I'll come to you next. It's hard to know whether to try and follow and decide for the clues or just go for the obvious thing and say, is there a link with it being a dog? And if we take football, you'd say, could it be Harry Kane, nine? <laughs> <laughs> could it be John Terrier? <laughs> But I was seeing football there, and I don't know if that was football, because I was seeing the competition instead, mm. head to head. But yeah. there's one name who I really think it is, and I know it's you, because you said, like, flying high. And there's one sport that you do fly very high. And then there's the travelling references as well, and that led me down a path 
to Greg Rutherford. No. Greg Rutherford. I think that's good. But check this out. Chicken and chicken and check this out before you wreck this out. Yeah? <laughs> Greg's granddad what? used to play for Arsenal. His name is John Rutherford. Come on, that is Greg no. Rutherford. Crack right. the case. <laughs> Guys, you want a clue? Yes, yes please. let's get a clue. You're going to have to throw us a bone here, Beagle. It's time for Mind the Gaps. Beagle is going to give you a clue, but two okay. key words will be carefully hidden. OK. Let's hear it, Beagle. This mud has something in common with... Close and... Close. <laughs> this is so hard. This one's <laughs> tough. I, I want to cry. That must be addresses. Brookside, Brookside close, close and... This might have something in common. Something with. close. Is there a common near a couple of famous closes? Does that dog go for walks? It's not a real dog, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot for a second what we were doing. <laughs> Are the panel barking up the wrong tree? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Beagle! I think that is the toughest one so far. Yeah. That was very hard. Are the panel hot on the heels of Beagle's identity? Or are they just chasing their own tails? Did you see my moves out there? It's going to be impossible for the panel to guess who this beagle is. In my last match, I took on Frog. Hey! Yeah! My performance was high flying. The panel found it hard to name me, though. Harry Judd, Jamie Redknapp. Could it be Harry Kane? Nine. <laughs> they haven't landed on a solid answer, if you ask me. What? Beagles love playtime, and I got to play the game I had always dreamt of. There's loads of football references all the time. I waddled in to investigate. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper hair. And could see it was something to sink my teeth into. This dog had to learn new tricks, as I was suddenly juggling national training with our own squad back home during a tough season. But it didn't make me a bulldog. In fact, it made me become more focused on the goal ahead. Oh, look at that. And there's a shower. And just like then, I'm just as focused on this competition now. Woof. No need to throw this dog a bone. I can smell success. But are you on my scent? OK, so where's this? Is this a clue? Someone has Eugene. What is this? Eugene Bone. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. Hey! Well, you ain't never got a man and you ain't no friend of mine. Yes! When I said you was high class, then that was just a lie. When I said you was high class, then that was just a lie. Rock and roll. 
Oh, that's what happened to Robert Chicken. <laughs> Go get it! <laughs> this is the perfect pet. <laughs> is that a clue? Is the oh. small chicken a clue? I don't know. Oh, I do, don't know. Uh, Jonathan, I'm going to come to you first. Did you notice, guys, that in the clue package, in the bag, he put in salt and pepper? <laughs> yeah. So we're thinking maybe cooking. Then dice. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's dice got to do with cooking? Well, you dice up the vegetables, so maybe it is a famous chef. Maybe it's James Martin, I was thinking. <laughs> the other mention was it was high-flying. And, of course, we know uh, in the band High Flying Birds we have Noel Gallagher. Yeah. Could be... Mm. Javine, it could be Noel Gallagher. Oh, no. oh, my Lord. <laughs> I have got an idea, though, because he's just been throwing a rubber chicken. If yeah. that's Noel Gallagher, the other one's Liam. Yes. <laughs> if the oh, Liam and Noel were in the If the chicken show. was Liam... Yes. ..and you and Noel, and then this was and the show that they that got back was... together... <laughs> Who do you think it is? Well, going off of the package, I still think that the plane is a clue. The only person that I know who actually flies is Gethin Jones. And there were a lot of football references. And I saw Dice, so I thought from the Dice, someone, an ex-footballer, Sam Ella Dice. And what? then... How did you get that clue? That is so good. Oh, my Thank God. That's good. You. The Dice, Sam Ella Dice. Get this woman on Sky Sports now. Yes, yes, right. What? Mo, do you think it's a footballer? I don't know. You could be a pundit, possibly. Yeah. Someone who is a pundit and a football player. And we all know this person is the life and soul of the party. It could be Alan Shearer in there. Oh, yeah. If you had the what? captain reference. <laughs> Man, I'm the beagle. I'm the beagle, man. <laughs> I don't know why I sound Jamaican. <laughs> But, but there, was, there was one other person that came to mind. They come across as very, like, old-fashioned gentleman-type vibes, mm. do you know what I mean? And that name was Anton Dubeck. Oh. It would be Anton Dubeck, possibly. Yeah. Um, OK, no. No. I think, I think why is it not? Tell I me why. Tell me, tell me what said Anton from anything that you've seen in the previous From the night. person yeah. that tell just said folks. Sam Allardyce. <laughs> <laughs> Why if that is he... Sam Allardyce, yeah? I'll shave <laughs> off this whole beard. I look like a turtle, <laughs> but I'll do it. Davina, yes. what do you think? There was a mention of a waddle, which I think is quite a yes. weird mention yes. for uh, a beagle. Yes. So I went to Chris Waddle. Yes. Yeah. But, oh, hello. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking pilot flying, muck fly. I uh -huh. went down this avenue the last uh -huh. time, but um, Harry Judd. I like it. I like it a lot. You want some clues? Yes. yes. It's time for two lies and a truth. Beagle, can you please give us your first clue? I was known as a bit of a stud back in the day. I was known stud as a bit of a stud the day. back in the day. Let's have your second one, Beagle. I've been upstaged by a comedy legend. I've been upstaged, upstaged by a comedy staged. legend. Well, haven't we? Ooh. Ooh. Who have you upstaged recently, Mo? <laughs> 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 and your third clue? I'd rather it didn't leak out where I'm originally from. I'd rather, I'd rather it didn't leak out, out where leak I'm originally out. from. Wales. Welsh. Welsh. Mm. Gethin. Gethin. Hey, Geth. <laughs> well, has this pup left the panel chasing their tails? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Beagle. <laughs> Have the panel guessed correctly, or are they barking up the wrong tree? Who do you think's beneath the beagle? This muck's got moves. The panel are way off my scent. You ain't no friend of mine. You ain't nothing but a hound all the time. That last performance, yeah, I loved it. James Martin. Gethin no Joe, Harry Judd. Alan Shearer. I'm on cloud canine. <laughs> Beagles are very homely, but there was a time when I was homeless and less. I was living a unique doggy lifestyle, that's for sure. Working with Bobby, wow, what an honor. A letter kissing. It was all a big furry dream after that. But it was no dog dinner. The pressure was really on. It was licking the bone a clue. Could be, there's two bones as well. We knew the nation was watching. How would we be judged? 
like I say, us pets are homely creatures. But the question was, could we bring it home? New rules are in. Is that football? Well, you know, it could be. Look at the board. That could be a reference to Tokyo Olympics. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. Kiss me. So classy. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. Wow. In other words, I love you. In other words, please be true. In other words, in other words, I guess we know. So good, auntie. I didn't expect that at all. You came out and you did some pedibores, then you did partnering, which is really, really new yeah. for you. But from the clue packages, maybe he's an athlete, and I'm going to say Gareth Southgate. Yes. Jonathan, working with Bobby. Yeah. Bobby is short for Robert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Robert is a different way of saying Robson. Robson Green, yeah. could that be Jerome, Jerome Flynn? Because the Beatles' ears remind me of his long flowing locks. <laughs> David. I think that this is someone who likes to be the centre of attention, likes to upstage people when they're trying to critique them. <laughs> 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 so, uh, my, my feeling is there's a kind of patriotic thing, someone who's represented their country. And is it perhaps Gary Lineker? Yes. <laughs> He's a funny guy, yeah. he likes attention. Davina, who do you think it is? Um, I've always gone down the McFly route mm. and oh. thought somebody who is quite good at dancing and can partner and everything is yes. Harry Dunn. That is a good guess. Yes. It's Mo. When I looked at some of the clues, I seen a British flag and I thought possibly it could be Eurovision. Now, someone who represented us in Eurovision was the band Blue. Could be Simon from Blue. Yes. Do you guys want a clue? Yes. 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 Let's get a word up clue. Here we go. Who are you? <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one. one. Nippy. <laughs> Dogs can be a bit nippy. That's yeah. true. Were well, you saying it's a real dog inside the dog? <laughs> what a reveal that would be. He'd be <laughs> well on from EastEnders. Could oh. you imagine that? <laughs> oh, no one said this would be a walk in the park. <laughs> Who's the good boy inside this good boy? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Beagle. <laughs> Are the panel arriving at Beagle's identity or departing from the truth? Who do you think's behind the mask? This beagle is running rings around the panel, then can't figure out whether I'm a pop or an old mutt. Being the beagle, zip and llama, you are in tonight's bottom three. Only one of you will make it through to tomorrow's semi-final. And I can reveal that the celebrity who received the fewest votes from our audience who will be removing their mask right now is... Oh. Oh. Zip 
And Lana, one of you will be revealing your identity at the end of the show. Give it up for Zip and Lama, everybody. Ah, oh, Spiegel. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but your time on The Masked Dancer has come to an end and you will be removing your mask in a matter of moments. But first, panel, who do you think is behind the mask? Oh. Mo. I'm gonna go with Simon from Blue. <laughs> Simon Webb from Blue, okay. Davina. I'm going to stick with the name I've said from the get-go, and that is Harry Judd. Harry Judd. David? I'm going to say Gary Lineker. Gary Lineker. O.T. Mabuse. Gareth Southgate. Gareth Southgate. Finally, Jonathan, who is behind the mask? I'm going to stick with Jerome Flynn. Jerome Flynn. Wow, OK. Well, let's see if uh, you've solved this mystery. Beagle, who's behind the mask? Take it up! Take it up! Take, Take it up! Take it up! Christopher Dean! You got us good, man! We didn't even guess that once! Not even close! Wow! The partnering was so good! Oh, that but was I did good. like Davina saying that it looked like a 30-year-old song. Yeah, you really did, but that's because you are fit! Yeah! Thank you. Have you enjoyed it? It's been great fun. Yeah, it's nice to finally be able to breathe again. <laughs> um, getting on a bit now and new challenges no. are always nice to take on. I'm 63 this year, so what? it's... No! Um, wow. What? To be honest, thank you for tonight, because my knees are starting to give up. <laughs> <laughs> and, Chris, on the dog bowl, I couldn't work out what the clue was. It said tea and dinner on it, and then there were two bones in it. What was oh, the yeah. clue Talk in the dog tea bowl? Tea and D. Tea and D. Tea and oh, D. Oh, you oh, be kidding me! It was right there, Jonathan. Tea and D. <laughs> what was the working with Bobby clue? Who's Bobby? I used to be a policeman. Ah, oh, so you oh, were Bobby. I didn't know that. I got it. Let's see that. You were so amazing. Really you stayed great. in character the whole time. Thank you were absolutely much. wonderful. We Give it up for Christopher it. Dean, everybody. Yes. Yes. Dancing for us one final time, unmasked at last. Christopher Dean! Yes. Well, there's a surprise. That was I a surprise. Love that. We were not close, boy. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like gone. Oh my god, I love A seeing Jupiter their faces. Yeah. Mars. In other words. Good job.